News this morning uh, that broke sad news for South Africans is that businessman Richard Maponia has passed away. He was 99. He died during the early hours of this morning following a short illness. Known as the great grandfather of black business, Richard Maponia is best known for developing Maponia Mall in Soweto. From the age of 24, he developed a business empire despite the restrictions of apartheid. He worked hard to see Soweto Township develop economically. The Maponya family this morning did confirm his death. Richard Maponya was married to former social worker Marina Maponya, who was a cousin of late former President Nelson Mandela. She joined him in business in the 1950s and died at the age of 56. The family has asked for privacy at this time and says funeral details will be released. In now to our reporter Malungelo Boy. He's in Soweto for us. He's, uh, I suppose, touching base with some people out and about in Soweto to just uh, gather a sense of what people are saying. And I believe, Malungelo, you are out at one of uh, Richard Maponya's first shops. Is that correct? Tell us, uh, tell us where you are exactly. That's right, Natasha. In fact, we are in Dubai, just behind us. This is where really some of the first, biz the first businesses that were operated by Richard Maponya at the time, really, of apartheid, um, you know, are. There still are. In fact, there's still a butchery that's called still operates here. Yeah? There's also the Maponya Fish and Chips and Takeaway that also operates here. Yeah? We've been told that this entire street really um, it consists of the businesses of, of Dr. Richard Maponya. You're right, Natasha. South Africa and the business fraternity mourning the passing of this great legend. I mean, some people have described him as a visionary president. Cyril Ramaphosa, in a statement, describing Dr. Maponya as a trailblazer. Well, let me bring into the conversation now Ubaba Ufredi Langeni. So thank you so much for your time. I know we have hijacked you, but thank you so much for talking to us. You were saying to me earlier that you've just heard about the passing of this man. Tell me about that. That's true, sir. Just as uh, I was moving out of the house, yeah. I just heard over the radio of his passing. Yeah. Yeah, and I was shocked, you know. Anyway, I know he was an elderly person, but you know, a man who brought us up. Me, I grew up under the Mr. Maponya. Yeah. I learned a lot of things from him. I even got some le lessons, you know, yeah. business lessons from him. And I also interacted with him, you know, business-wise, yeah. you know, because I was a salesman that time. Yeah. Now I'm retired, yeah. you know. But, you know, um, we got a lot of coaching, you know, business coaching from him. So he was a very dedicated business people. He wanted to see people in his community becoming better people? It's so true, sir. Yeah. A lot of people, you know, uh, got, you know, good lessons, you know, from Mr. Maponye. What do you think, though, um, is it the loss to us as the nation? What is it that you think that we'll miss about him the most? His contribution, you know, he contributed a lot. I mean, like, for example, he's among the first people, you know, to bring us uh, 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 Maponya Mall, you know. And besides, he has so many businesses that he established, you know, especially given his history that he... He was, he came from nowhere to be where he was, you know. What is it that you think as South Africans, entrepreneurs and business people can learn from Dr. Maponya? You know, um, he was a dedicated person, you know. We all must learn from him. We must take, you know, lessons, you know, from Mr. Maponya. Because, you know, it shows that through dedication, you know, and, uh, you know, have confidence in yourself. Because, you know, Mr. Makuponya became a businessman, you know, during the apartheid days. Yeah, those were difficult times. Yes. So, you know, he went through up until we got into the new uh, dispensation, you know. You know, up until now, 
there are very, very few business people who have gone that far, you know. You know, we must take, you know, lessons, you know, from people like Mr. Maponya. Thank you so much, sir, for your time. Really appreciate it. Freddie Mlangeni, he's a former salesman who says that, you know, he has interacted with Dr. Maponya before and that he learned so many uh, business lessons from from him and also saying that as the nation really we must also learn um, from people like him people who serve the country really with dedication and also Natasha I think one of the most interesting things about Dr. Maponya is that at the when he started really to practice as a businessman it was at the height of apartheid uh, of apartheid um, regime in this country and and I remember one of the things that I've been reading was that the apartheid government first refused to grant him a business, uh, to grant him a, a, a license to have um, um, a business. But few a year, few years later, they allowed him really to open um, a, a, a food store. But initially, he had wanted to open a retail, a retail store, and he was allowed uh, by the apartheid government to to open, um, a, you know, a, f a fast food store. But he did not give up. It, it, it's a sign that uh, uh, Mr. Fred Langeni is talking about that as South Africans, throughout the challenges that we are facing, you know, um, we also should not give up. We must pick that from him, that he did not give up. And, and I suppose we'll continue really to hear from people like uh, Mr. Fred Langeni, people who have interacted with this man who has been described by many as a visionary and a trailblazer who really paved the way for many b black businesses um, in this country to be where they are today. Absolutely. Malungelo, thank you very much for that. Our Malungelo boy out in Soweto for us on Dube Street, where you can just see the legacy um, of uh, Dr. Richard Sibanya in his humble beginnings on that street. Two shops uh, still there bearing his name. Uh, so a sad loss for South Africa, for the business fraternity.